Well, here's the question tonight, Janelle. Where were you in 1918? <laughs> Ever since it was announced that there were vaccines for COVID, there's been a big debate about who should get those vaccines first. Yeah, one of the groups at the top of the list, the elderly. And one of the most elderly spoke to Garvin Thomas about her vaccination. And she has a pretty unique perspective on the pandemic. I was born in Germany. Um, you know you must have lived a good life. In the year 1915. If after more than a century of it, Ready, Ready, you do what you can one, to get even more. I got the vaccine, yeah. Last week, Ursula Heusler, all 105 years old of her, went to the Kaiser Permanente Fremont Medical Center to get her first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. She says it went well. I, I had no but the reaction to it, she was maybe a little tired. Ursula, the baby in this century-old photo, brings a perspective to this pandemic that few others on Earth can. She remembers family and friends being among the millions who died during the last great pandemic, the 1918 Spanish flu. Uncle and godfather and another uh, lady that was also my godmother was... She was an opera singer and she died with 25. But Ursula's perspective goes well beyond just having lived a long life. It's what she's been able to do with it. It's meant she could have a career in the newspaper business and raise a family. It's meant she could take up the sport of skiing in her 70s. And it's meant at age 102, she could surround herself with four generations of her family. They are also nice, and I miss them very much now. Ursula has indeed had a full life, something she wishes for anyone. Getting vaccinated, she says, is simply a step in that direction. I want to tell them they should be thankful that people worked so hard to get these vaccines for them, because that's the only way to stop COVID virus. Garvin mm -hmm. Thomas, NBC Bay Area News.